Hello and welcome to Pittsburgh Transit Ideas. I'm Mike Lopato and I've been around the world from New York to Rome to Mumbai and in each of the cities I've visited I've paid close attention to how the transit networks are designed, what works well and what doesn't. In this series I'll be presenting a number of proposals for how we can improve transit accessibility and make public transit a more desirable option in my own hometown of Pittsburgh. I'm going to start with some ideas for how Pittsburgh transit can be made better right now with no new construction other than a few new bus stops and very minimal financial obligations. Eventually, I may go on to share some of my more grand ideas for the design of the system as a whole, but for now, let's get started with one of the most simple yet impactful changes the Pittsburgh Regional Transit, formerly known as the Port Authority, could make right now, the P4. Like New York, Pittsburgh is a city that has multiple centers. Downtown Pittsburgh acts as a hub for transit, for performing arts and is the home of many financial institutions and different companies that call Pittsburgh home. Oakland, a few miles to the east, is Pittsburgh's center for healthcare, for education and technology, and is home to Phipps Conservatory, the Carnegie Museum, and the Carnegie Library. Many people travel quite frequently between the two, and there are a number of different bus routes that you can take that run pretty often. However, anyone who's ever had to travel between them during the workday knows that getting from downtown to Oakland and vice versa can sometimes be quite a pain in the rear. Currently, there are two public transit options between Oakland and downtown, and both have significant drawbacks. The first and most popular option is to take the 61 or 71 bus. The 61 and 71 buses go from Oakland to downtown using 5th Avenue and then turn around take the parallel Forbes Avenue back to Oakland before continuing on to various other destinations. However, there are many bottlenecks on Forbes and Fifth that one is almost bound to come across when taking these buses. During the afternoon rush hour, traffic jams very heavily right before the on-ramp to the Parkway and Boulevard of the Allies on Fifth. Going further on Fifth, there are frequently slowdowns, traffic, and construction in Uptown culminating in yet another bottleneck just before one reaches the Liberty Bridge and enters the city center. Going back toward Oakland, there's a major bottleneck at Forbes Avenue and Kraft, and especially so in the morning. After passing through that bottleneck, traffic usually remains slow on Forbes Avenue through Oakland itself, which, due to various construction projects, has often been down to one lane over the past few years. Alternatively, you could use the East Busway to go between Oakland and downtown, but doing this isn't a whole lot better. Doing so requires a transfer that involves making a U-turn on the busway. To go this way, you would take the P3 bus from anywhere on 5th Avenue to the Negley Avenue station. Then you would need to cross the busway and board an opposite direction P1 bus to downtown. There is, however, a better way to do this, a new route I'm proposing called the P4. Currently, whenever buses approach the East Busway from Oakland, they always turn right. But what if we had a bus that turned left on the East Busway and headed toward downtown rather than the East End? I'll admit as much as anyone, this looks terrible on a map, but in practice, it would actually work brilliantly. The P4 takes advantage of every single opportunity that Pittsburgh Regional Transit has in an Oakland downtown connector. It uses the opposite direction bus lane on 5th Avenue, and it avoids traffic in Oakland itself. And then, once it enters the East Busway, it gets a traffic-free ride to downtown with only one stop at Heron Station. In this case, at least at rush hour, taking three sides of the square is actually faster than one. And even at off-peak times, when trip times are similar, riders will still at least feel like they're getting somewhere. Funding this route would be pretty easy as well. Much of the ridership for the 61 and 71, and some of the ridership for the P1 and the P3, are just people who need to go between downtown and Oakland. During the morning rush hour between 8 and 9 a.m., there are 16 61 series buses arriving downtown, 22 71 series buses arriving downtown, and four P3 buses arriving downtown. If Pittsburgh Transit were to cut just two of the 61 buses and two of the 71 buses per hour, and make them into P4s. They could create a much faster ride for many of the people using those same buses. And even at that level of funding, the new route would already have a pretty impressive 15 minute frequency. I very much encourage Pittsburgh Transit to do so and to look into this option. Thank you for watching. 
you'd like to see these videos put into practice, please share these videos as widely as you can and like and subscribe to help to get them to more people. If you have any ideas yourself for how to improve the public transit in Pittsburgh, please leave them in the comments and if I like them, maybe I'll make a video about it. I'll see you soon with my next idea, the East-West Busway. Thank you.